So Gerald is a facilitator with an agile mindset. He has the ability to train a wide variety of subjects, which include soft skills, coding, robotics, first aid training. He also consults and facilitates for local SMEs in the area of sales coaching, goal setting, and team building. And in this workshop, he will help you to get to know yourself better through Lego Bricks because it is certainly important to know oneself and strength before we can proceed to build team. Without further ado, let's give a very warm welcome to Gerald Oh! Hey, thank you guys. Yes. Yeah, feel free to send your messages to the chat. I'm monitoring the chat as, I, as we go along. Okay. So you might see sometimes I'm maybe switching camera views uh, because I'm using two different camera views from time to time. Okay, so welcome to the session. So what comes to your mind when you see this piece of Lego brick? Type in the chat box, please. Get that going. Hey, let's get the chat box. Ah, let's get the chat box going. What do you think when you see this piece of Lego bricks here? Ah, ah Thomas thinks of me. Yeah, how nice. Ah, children. Pain you will step out there and building blocks, yes. Okay, Legoland, yeah. Legoland is, of course, in Malaysia, but there they don't use the bricks that I'm using here, okay? Okay, so fixing yourself, okay? Fixing up your imagination, yes. So you have guessed it right? Yes, it's imagination, creating many possibilities, of course. Every time you do a facilitation, we keep recording of our models. Okay, so you will need to take a picture of your model, screenshot and upload to my Google Drive because that is what we're going to be doing later. Okay, just give you some how I'm going to facilitate this online. You'll see such of the environments that I'm using. Okay, in many ways that comes to it. Okay, so this is I am that methodology I use, uh, self-built image and story. If ultimately it's all about story-based approach that we are using with the Lego bricks. Okay, and there's of course there's some supported by research that comes with it. Okay, because I impacted many people, 2,005 countries, five years. So you may see me translate from time to time when I speak in different language. I will adjust accordingly to the language, okay, to the various audience. Okay, I will move between the languages. So if it's normal, you see me greet in another foreign language, that's normal. Okay, it's part of my work. Okay, so what is the approach? Okay, my approach using this is a facilitated problem solving communication for team and for for teams in 1999 is developed by Robert Ramerson. Okay. And that is what you get. Okay. So when you when you listen to the video later, you understand what does Rob and Robert was going to train me. Okay. Is how about using it as a tool? Okay. So this is a brief introduction. Okay. They they been for many, many years. Okay. And they share quite a fair bit of things. Okay. On how Lego has come to affect many people in the in the lives. Okay, so here let's watch this video. Okay, here we go. So, in one sentence, what is Lego Serious Play? Okay, Lego Serious Play is a thinking, communication, and problem solving method. It applies to compositions with or in real teams with courageous managers. Okay. So this is where the association I'm trained from. Okay. And they say that okay. let me go almost like okay. So it's about having fun. We more fun actually you know a lot of people. Okay. I have one nice interesting story that I can share with you. Okay. I have one accountant friend who happened to enjoy uh, Lego with me. Uh. She also curious about my work. Okay, so the first typical duck, and you'll be playing a duck later. Uh, okay, she gave me a very typical duck that is linked to that is very common. Okay, to the most accountants, very typical design. Okay, from there I start to realize, eh? Okay, now let me ask you what's so special about this. Okay, that's when her duck begin to change. Okay, she begin to something different. Uh, something that is not typical of the duck that you normally see. So what does this mean to me? Actually, there's a reason for it. Okay, it means that you are seeing this 
differently. She sees it as a differently. She likes drawing actually, and she doodles. Okay, and it's true. Fun fact. So this story is still the best, and we still meet every October for reason for October because it's, it's my birthday month. So we have the same birthday month. Okay, so nevertheless, we make friends through like group. Okay, so sometimes you want to ask, hey, how, how do you use Lego in this case? Ah, there are many ways, okay? I will show you more. Okay, so this is one of my workshops that is done using Lego in the face-to-face -face environment. I can feel free to ask questions, okay? Feel free to shoot questions in the chat box, okay? This is a very big strategic planning that we were doing, okay, for a community. And you see this in a very big, okay? Uh, some of you might notice that Daiso stuff. Oh, yes, I was using a Daiso container. Okay, and that is how things are done. Okay, when you see this from a bird's eye view, this is actually a bird's eye view of everything layout in front, and that is one of the best way. And that's the power of Lego. Okay, you can see it from bird's eye view in Teams when you want to find out what's the actual reason for doing that, and sometimes what is the actual reason why do they want to go together and gather together. That's the way you collate your thoughts. Similarly. So when we play in, when we combine uh, pictures on a, on the table like this, you need at least three GS tables, huh? general service table, in order to run a 10-person workshop like this, okay? Because these bricks, not only they are 54 pieces, but they can express enough, okay? If I were to give you 200 pieces, which you'll see later in one of the boxes later, in one of the future videos, you will be confused, will you be thinking too much? That's always the question on uh, when we facilitate Lego workshops. Is there enough bricks for that session? And typically in Asia, especially Singapore, usually maximum bricks limit is about 75 to about 120 pieces. We cannot exceed not more than that, depending on the duration of the sessions. So it depends on the complexity of the problem that we're going to address. So in my case, team building, very easy. I just need 50 pieces enough. Okay, if I do a strategic planning, this is just a level one strategic planning. It, let's say it goes to a level three. Okay. The, the earlier video you saw, boom. Okay. That's one of my Thai facilitators in Asia. Okay. She does strategic for the sea suits. Her bricks use deployment goes up to 4,000. Okay. Very big. So it can go there. And so this is me doing it, talking about the same thing. Okay. Talking about different topics. Okay. And getting to know yourself. This is one of the bigger engagement I have. Build a model. What's making you so happy? Okay. Okay, so this is me, my brief profile. Okay. I was also featured in quite a few sessions on this topic, knowing yourself on Lego bricks. Okay, all have fun. You can feel my pop, my interview. I believe my friend who is came in, okay, supporting, supporting me on this event. He linked me to the radio in the radio interview. It was very good. Okay. Of course, I since went to another podcast, the state of business. Okay. I was in this podcast earlier this year. So you can hear more how I use the Lego bricks. Okay, some of the organization. So sometimes you might be wondering, how come my name sometimes changed the language? Yes, it's normal. Okay, don't don't find it odd. Huh? Okay, so these are my past clients. So they call me in to do it. Okay, okay, some of them is very easy because you can gain personal insight. Just simple bricks. Okay, so why do I use Lego? Because it's established brand. There's a lot of loyalty and there's a lot of endless imagination. And what do you see that when you look? When you see the Lego, okay? Actually, Lego has many meanings. In Lego means play well. Okay. It's a Danish word. They come from Bilmon, Denmark. Every year we have a global facilitators meeting in October. Ah. So that is the beauty of Lego. Next come. What's the benefits of it? Okay, like what you see in this picture I showed you earlier. Do you notice although it looks pixelated, but nevertheless, let's look at the body language. Do you see the eye body language actually more paying attention to the rest? Ah, do you all notice? Yes, everybody, the hands are outstretched. Okay. If, let's say, if you are in a normal club officer's training in Toastmasters contact, you'll see slide after slides. Will you tell me, will you be slouching on your back? How many of you notice that you are slouching on your back when you listen to presentation slides? I bet now because I'm using presentations like most of you are slouching now. Check your body language at home. Okay. Chances are you're going to slouch. Okay. Why? Slides. Slides are made are called a lean back. This is a lean forward approach. Okay. So if I were to do this face-to-face, -face, there's no slides. If the slides means very little slides. Okay. It's only normally is down to as low as 
as low as 10 slides to 15 slides, okay? Not as long as 40 slides like this presentation today, okay? This is Zoom. Zoom style is at least 40 slides, okay? But in a traditional face-to-face -face like this, you see it's about 10 to 15 slides. At the maximum, I will go to 10 minutes just to orientate you how the flow is done. After that, you get to enjoy the process of the play. And I just ask you the right question. Sometimes facilitation is the power of asking the right questions. You, you hear, some, hear me share some thoughts. How do I apply it from what I learned to those masters? Of course, you can do as big as this. Uh, when you do strategic thinking, there's a shared vision systematic. Systematic thinking is a new way, I heard. Okay, yes, it's a new launch. Actually, systematic thinking is also indirectly linked to design thinking. We have an expert in our community here in Singapore that does systematic think system thinking. Uh, very good facilitator. He does under very high level uh, in the Institute of High Learning and on which he is one of the best facilitators around. Yes, he specializes in that area. So you can go as big as this, okay? When you link up, what is the connection? What is the what is the factors affecting it, okay? In Lego sales play, we call it agents. But in layman, we call it factors. What are the different factors? And what is connecting line? They can be loose connections. They can be rigid connections. That's what you can see in some parts of the Lego. Okay, you will be able to tell which one is my Lego that I took part in because I have certain model of how I do it in terms of the way I facilitate. Okay, when I go to big scale, by rarely done is really done is now. Let's hear this one. Okay, on this is done in Fox News. Okay, in the university in the US, they already started to do it. All right, a little break from the weather for a moment. We know kids love Legos, but now there's Legos for a Building blocks of fun are now becoming building blocks for communication in some Fortune 500 companies. And one of the workshops is here in Houston at Rice University. Here to talk about Lego Serious Play is Kim Professional Programs at Rice's Glasscock School of Continuing Studies. Please. Kim, good morning. Good morning. How are you? I'm great. Okay, so adults can play with Legos. It's totally acceptable. Absolutely. Not only acceptable, <laughs> it's, it's imperative. So yeah. For innovation, for creativity, is becoming one of the most important traits that uh, employers are looking for in the uh -huh. American workforce. And one of the ways they're, de uh, they're developing that is through play. Through play. So what is Lego Serious Play? Lego Serious Play is a, uh, it's a format of doing a workshop mm -hmm. using Lego. It was developed by Lego e Education. It's been around for about 20 years. It's currently used at Stanford Business School in Oxford and also at the United Nations. Wow. So it's, it's a really innovative format mm -hmm. that can be applied to any topic, but is especially strong for communications, team building, and also strategy. So you've got companies from all over now, like yeah. wanting to bring their employees yeah, in yeah. And, and take Lego workshops. Yeah, actually, the, the State Department uh -huh. is bringing a group in uh, uh, next month. So How really interesting. Excited. So what are the benefits that, that people are, are, are seeing? Then? The benefit is it's 100% uh, hands-on, minds on. Mm -hmm. uh, so they're, people are going to be using their hands, and it's also great for um, introverts. You know, uh, introverts, a, a lot of times you aren't as highly verbal, a little bit shy. They're going to be really excited because you're talking about the figure that ah, you made. Okay. So the Lego figure, so everything's about the figure. Mm -hmm. So you can talk about some things in depth that might be uncomfortable to talk about uh, otherwise. Interesting. Also, it's just exciting. It's a great way to get everyone at the table and right. have a really good, memorable conversation. So you're, you're communicating through play. Okay, Absolutely. I like this. Okay, so you so have a example, little assignment Yes, for I do. So okay. we, uh, usually uh, an opener might be, uh, okay, you have 45 seconds. So go ahead seconds. and uh, dump out your pieces. Okay. And you're going to build... Ready? We have okay. the same pieces. Same pieces. Whatever oh you want to do, I'm your so way. I'm nervous. Good. Okay, what are we building? A duck. A duck. Okay. Okay. So Any however you want to do it. Oh however you want to do are it. Are there feet? Or however you want to do it. It's all up to okay. you. Okay. Okay. I'm nervous. And there's no right. The other thing that I want to <laughs> say is there's no right or wrong way to uh -huh. play. And that's that's the big takeaway. And you might not even use all the pieces if you don't want to. And so these are. This is an example of, of what you would have folks do, right? Absolutely. Okay. Actually, I should not even do this. And again, there's no right or wrong. There's no judgment. Uh-huh. You're just playing. All right. Okay, great. Oh and my gosh, yours really <laughs> looks like a duck. And so like and so like this and I'll turn like a little look at her. So <laughs> And that's the reaction we get in the group. Yes. And so it's really funny. So can you imagine a bunch uh -huh. of, you know, executives at a table uh, looking, and you laugh. Right. The point is, is, 
look at it with this alone, with these alone, just with uh -huh. these five pieces, there are more than 900 million combinations you could have done just with these five pieces. Oh, so how about like in marriages? Could you start oh, doing this for like a true marriage? Absolutely. It's okay. all about communication. And the point uh -huh. is, is we all have a unique, unique way of seeing the world. Uh -huh. And this highlights that just with five pieces, every single duck in a room, if you had 50 people doing it, every right. single duck would be a little bit yeah, different. Yeah, that's really And that's a great way to start it off is everyone has a unique lens and something to share with uh -huh. a different perspective, and we welcome that. So if you have businesses out there watching or employees who want to tell their businesses about this, um, how can they get in touch with you to, to sign up? One of the best ways to do is just go to creative.rice.edu, uh -huh. and uh, you can look at our information on the website. If a Lego isn't posted, at least our contact information is there. And again, it's creative.rice.edu. Okay, great. And folks can come to you or you can go to them. And Absolutely. Then you can yeah, play you can come out to Rice. All day. Yeah, absolutely. It's Glasscock School. <laughs> well, they are the best toy, right? They, absolutely. they never They are the best. And by the way, yeah. just so you know, we've uh -huh. got really super cool minifigs as oh, part of it. So you might come in. In addition just to uh -huh. Lego, we have all the cool characters. Oh, and and, characters. and uh, the other thing I forgot is Lego money. Okay. Which Lego has money. I did not know Lego yes, has money. If it's okay, business, we're going to bring money into it. <laughs> very cool. All right, Kim, thanks for stopping Thank by. Thank you very We much. appreciate it. We're going to send it over to Lisa. Now. Okay, I hope you said mentioned. Okay, I hope I've seen. Uh, how many combinations did the lady mentioned? It's quite a lot, right? Yes, this is the amount of combination that has been shown in research. Okay, that there are so many, more than a million combinations. Uh, 915, uh, that's the actual research. Okay, so in Lego does conform to this uh, this thing called DEI. I'm not sure anybody heard of this. Can anybody tell me what is this DEI thing? Anybody know what is DEI? Ah, ah what is DEI? Anybody know what is these three letters means? Ah, what is DEI? Ah, anybody knows what is this? Ah, ah okay, not don't eat ice cream. <laughs> Okay, you think of it in 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 my storytelling way. I came across my forget there. Thanks, Michael. <laughs> okay, let me briefly explain. Uh, that's what the presenters were saying from right uh on Fox and Rice University. Uh, they say that D is diversity, means that you have different diverse unique ducks. So there's never the same duck in the same room. In that case, okay, same rice later. Are you going to analyze any of these ducks? There's no same duck in the same room. Okay, despite the same six pieces, that is E, equality. So there's six pieces. Uh, that, then you saw some other sets, like the mini fix and the other starter kit. There's one starter kit there. Equality. So E is equality. I. Now what is I? Uh, this is a facilitator's toolbox too. Okay, so it is an I means inclusiveness. Why is I inclusiveness? You had to, she was waiting for the next, for the presenter to finish her duck. She finished first, actually. As a facilitator, we normally do our construction very fast. She was waiting for her. Okay, so there's this element. So in the same table, we will wait for each other, no matter how long you take. Okay, sometimes you just have to wait. Sometimes in the interest of time, we'll speed up a bit, but not too fast. Okay, we'll let you catch up. Okay, that's come to the theory of flow. Okay, which is not covered in this presentation, but flow is very important. We need to ensure presentation flow. It's always a participant's flow. That's why you see sometimes, how can I get this connected to some of the presentations? Uh, yes, that is the flow, okay? According to the theory of flow. Okay, so when you play in school, okay? This is the research, right? Uh, so when school is playful, because it's absorbing, it's intricately motivated, give a surprise. You never know what you're thinking. Sometimes until it comes out of a model. Okay, just recently I was doing some volunteer coaching, okay, for social workers. I haven't, this is one of the best projects I've been involved. This person happened to make a pattern, like a fan, a flower. Okay. Yeah, he he's, he have an step ratio for leadership really. Okay, so in coaching, when we use the tool, we can roughly see what's your mind, what's your favorite things, what's, what's something that you always like. It will always appear as an emerging trend in every model that you make. Yes. Ah, so you if you ask me how come I became so good in certain things, uh, I like to watch the trends. Okay, so. Same for, same for Lego. Okay, there's an emerging trend somewhere in certain parts of how you play with it, how you use it. Okay, because when it comes to Lego, of course, this is one of the groups of lecturers. I happen to do it. I have support another co facilitator, another main facilitator. It's a serious discussion for meetings and workshops. Ah. Sometimes that's one get you familiar to the method. Okay, on which uh, we have some institutes of higher learning already adopting Lego as part of their curriculum since 2018. So we have a very big community where we are involved. So that's how beauty of play is coming into play. Okay, 
then sometimes how come the lady was mentioning how come we make stories with the Legos and all that right okay that's the reason why it's part of the flow okay that's why I say presentation and facilitation all has this flow we conform to it's a metaphor not a, it's not a figure of speech but a mode of thought it's a mode of transmitting your story Okay, you use point, you always point at the Lego bricks when the face-to-face -face delivery. You must not question the person in the eye, you must question the person in the Lego model. Okay, so some of you in Toastmasters might have encountered my Lego versions of doing things, right? I use a Lego model and I point to the Lego model to communicate my metaphors inside there. They support me, okay? They are the two that are supporting me. It's not, it's not the two helping me, okay? It's supporting my presentation. Okay, so now, are you ready to play? Type yes if you are ready to play. Come. Type yes. Yes. Type yes, type yes. Let me see. Type yes if you are ready to play. Okay. Okay. Type yes. Ah. Everybody ready to play? Yeah. Everybody ready? Okay. Okay. In your minutes, I will stand by something for you. Okay. Okay, so is everybody ready? Yes, some more, some more. I don't see the chat. The chat is very quiet lately. Huh. I think all are a bit dry. Now let's have the fun part. Okay, fun but slow. We take things slow and easy. Okay, yes. Okay, so I understand some of you are logging in by mobile. So those mobile users wait a while. Those who are on computer, okay, you will get to use it. Okay, so here's the rules of Lego Serious Play. Okay, ah, usually when we have the physical bricks, we tell them don't have a meeting yourself. Don't keep overthinking. Okay, so for, for how many years I noticed this overthinking problem? Huh? Actually, since 2018. Just trust your hand. Now, this time you trust your fingers on your, in your mouse. Okay, the bricks will lead you to where you do it. If you've seen the Rice University presentation in the Fox News, they were using a base plate. A base plate is meant to help you. Okay, in this case, there's no base plate. You're using a Lego digital designer. And when you tell the story, the meaning will be emerged. Okay, that's the reason why things are emerging in a constant trend. And lastly, you don't care about the design. Your story matters, actually. Although there is some relationship, but I can tell you why later. Okay? But don't get bored on by the design. General structure, general idea. That's what we are mainly looking at. Okay? And here's the core process of what you're going to experience it later. Okay? So first, you're going to encounter a question that I'm going to pose to you. Okay? Then you're going to build your model in the online tool. Then you're going to share your story in the chat box. After that, I'll do some reflections for you. Okay, so that is how things are going to run. Okay, and how, first but not this, let me give you some brief introduction. Okay, when the Lego started in the early years, it started with the wooden duck in 1939. That's the oldest product. Huh? It sees involved to three or four versions of this Lego duck, really. just a single piece wooden toy only. Okay, so now I'm going to post in the chat box. Okay, this link, okay, to build your duck now. Please go and build your duck. Okay, go and build your duck as fast as you can. Build your duck. Okay, go to this link. Okay, if you need to, see, and of course, click the next, next, next. Huh? You can play your duck. Build a Lego duck out of it. Okay, so different ducks mean different things, but just take your time, okay? Every, every about one to two minutes to build the duck. Okay, as you build the duck, okay, you know, Notice as functions and all that. You need technical support. Please let me know. No, I will assume. Okay. Uh, anybody got need any help with building the duck? Uh, anybody? Okay. It should be quite fast because this you just need to click next thing, thing, six, six. Okay. It comes from Lego Foundation. It was launched in 2020 during the pandemic. Uh, to provide as a tool for online learning. And Lego Foundation is a non-profit organization of Lego. Okay, it's a philanthropy arm of, of Lego organization. So that's the beauty of this Lego foundation. It was launched during the pandemic for facilitators. They came into our meeting and you're playing with this tool right now. And I love it because it's online. Okay. Of course, there's many other tools uh, that, that facilitators are using in the market. Okay, so nevertheless, just have to enjoy, build your duck. When your duck is ready, you finish, just type in the chat box, yes. And please make sure you save a picture of it or take a screenshot of the picture because you're going to upload it to my Google Drive. Okay.
Okay, so please make sure. Yes. Ah, thanks, Louis. Yes, I know very high tech, huh? Yeah, this is the high tech version of, of Lego, no choice. Okay. Ah, now you can use online Lego. Yes, there's online Lego for full sets. Okay, uh, that is a new technology, but I have not invested in that component. Ah, uh, ooh, yeah. Okay, nice one. Ah, uh, uh, those who are on computers, you can of course down post the Lego pictures inside the chat. Of course, I like to keep a memory of your Legos. Please also look out for my upload link. Okay. Yes. Okay, so those who are done, please type yes in the chat box so that I know I can proceed further. Okay. Ah, those who are done, please type yes. I believe most of you are done at this juncture already. Please type yes. Sorry, uh, Gerald, just to check. Uh, so after that, we download the duck, right? Then when I download the duck, they show me a banner with the Lego Foundation word in the middle. Is that correct? Yes, it's correct. It's normal. Ah, okay. Got it. Yes, also, yes. You, then they, they show me four different ducks. Uh. Different angles, uh, different pictures. Ah, uh. okay. ah, yes, yes, yes. So, so that, is, that is how different it is when you come to Lego Play uh, online. Uh. But because we have mobile users and all that, uh, so I had to coordinate to both sides of the users. Uh, you ask me. Yes, so that is the different things that you see. So... That is how technology is, huh? Okay, now you have picture of that, right? Keep memory, right? Okay, let's make sure the base online already. Okay, so let's let's have a reflection stage, huh? Okay, some of you didn't post your ducks inside, but then always uh, Thomas has a reference. Okay, like you can see in these three ducks here, every ducks is different. Okay, ah, uh, but how do you relate yourself? Like Thomas, I believe he's an introvert. Definitely introvert. Uh, okay, because you don't see a mouth. Okay, you have seen some of my ducks here. That's on the first duck on the left. That is a there's somewhat of the of mouth there. Okay, so that's somewhat of an of an of an extrovert. Lah. Okay, the other two are introverts. Okay, clear difference, clear distinction. Uh, then you will see there's a staircase on the second duck. Okay, some of you might have staircase. If you have a staircase on the second duck, chances are you are very systematic. You can't run away without. Okay, chances are you fall along that line. So yes. Gerald, just to get it right, uh, the longer the mouth, the more extroverted. Uh. So like my one, no mouth, this introvert, correct? Yes, chances are, yes, correct. Then the stairs one shows that they are very systematic people. Yes, uh. correct. Uh, okay, the second one is played by another Toastmasters with me. So that one, uh, that person tends to be very systematic. Uh, but at the bottom base, usually most people in Singapore, usually their base is very strict. Okay, uh, Lee Sien just posted so that. Let me see. Give me a while. Thank you, Lee Sien. Let me have a look. Oh, yes, Lee Sien, very happy to have you. She has a staircase, yes. And she studied engineering, right? Yes, you have it. Correct. Very normal. Engineers will have some, yes. What? Is it Lee Sien, you study engineering? Yes. Wow. Yeah. Okay. This, wow, accurate. And yes, Lee Sien is a very systematic person. That's why she's our district admin manager yes correct she's systematic la. oh wow it's actually quite accurate la. you look at it you look at it la. okay on the right that one just a normal duck la. okay with someone maybe feeling stressed but still very enjoying smooth sailing la. okay you see the red plate used below uh, in the second duck there is generally somebody who is uh usually very straight usually very smooth sailing in the water la. that's the story that comes with it means that uh, this person is very comfortable with life really. okay mm. so you can tell this person what's his age group really, okay yeah. What's the person itch? Generally, you can tell. Okay, so sometimes it's very interesting. Okay. Yep. No, Michael, not... Michael also uploaded his duck on the group chat. So maybe you want to share a little bit about this. Oh, okay. Michael, my oh. old friend of mine. Yeah, that's an old friend of mine, Michael. Uh Michael. Michael, yes, chatty, yes, I know. He chats with me. Yes, that's chatty. Uh can be a forward looking la. Anyway, he's marine. I know he's he studied marine. La. So it's like a like a ship la. Like the ship, the I say that what is that? The wheelhouse. <laughs> as far as I know, Michael. <laughs> I know Michael for a long time. Okay? So, so that kind of brain in it's like it's like you know, it's like a petrol boat or something like that. Ah. Can you see that? Uh, like, yeah. Are you like, correct, Michael? Yeah. Uh not petrol boat, but uh slightly more more uh how would I say like heavy duty kind of stuff. Mm. Yeah, I can't hear you that much, but I know you're outside now, right? We, we catch up soon, no problem. <laughs> yeah, but... No, no, that... no, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. No problem, okay? Uh, welcome, uh, Program Quality Director Hakim. 
Okay, now I'm going to give you this URL link. Please download this link. Uh, please upload your Google Docs inside. Okay, so that you can upload about it. Okay, uh, all your dark pictures go in, submit them. Okay, it's a Google Drive link actually. Okay, please yeah. send it out. Okay, uh, send the ducks in. Okay, I know some of you prefer confidentiality of your ducks. Mm. So, so, this is a secure channel where you can upload all your ducks. Uh, those who have my number, please WhatsApp me if you feel comfortable. Okay, uh, those yeah. who those... how's my duck, Gerald? Yeah, Gerald, since we still have some time, maybe you can do a live reading of some of the ducks. I saw Watana, Sajita, and Joseph. So based on what I learned with you, I guess Watana is a very systematic person uh, because she has a stairs on her duck. Yes, correct. But apparently her eye is different. Uh, let me see her eye. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Huh? I, I heard. I can't people, find it. I, I heard a lot of people I don't say know Watana how it's like... not centralized. Yeah. Uh, then it's normal. It's not my because this is Lego is digital it? designer, so it's normal that not many people do not how to use this tool. Uh. Okay, I learned this tool when I was teaching as a uh. robotics trainer. Okay, so I know how to use this tool. Okay, so it takes a while. Okay, they have it in 2D and 3D format, uh, so you can play around this tool. Uh. No, okay. but in my opinion, mm. the ice really looks like Watana ice, like big, big one. <laughs> I know, no, I think I, I actually, the eye is not supposed to be, to be facing the other way. That's what Watana. Yeah, yes, yes, turning yes. my face. The duck was turning the face. Yes, correct. <laughs> you must not turn the brick then put it in. Okay, so that is the that is the normal uh, normal issue. Yes, la, correct. La. True life of a retiree. La. She has systematic. Yes, she's a project manager. We know her. The, the, her staircase yeah, is still. Yeah, Daryl, I, yeah, I WhatsApp you. <laughs> oh, you WhatsApp me? Okay, no problem. Uh, Sanjita also sent in her duck so you can see Sanjita and Joseph's duck. Oh, Sanjita is very creative. Yes, Sanjita is very creative. Uh, yes, it's very creative. She, I don't think she likes doodling or something like that. Uh, very, she's very soft-spoken, if I'm not wrong. Yeah. Is she's it because soft. she don't have the big, that's why you feel that she's like introverted and soft-spoken? Mm, but she has a bit of creativity flair, slightly. La. When the when the parts are not usually built, she has a bit of creativity flair somewhere or another. Chances are it falls within that line. It doesn't escape so much, usually. It falls in general case. Like, it depends on their metaphor. Yeah. Okay? What is your metaphor to your duck? When I hear a metaphor, I will link back to your model. Then when I see that, that connection, right, you will definitely see the model comes up very nicely. In some cases, your duck, sometimes in workshops, uh, like the one, I have one case in, where is this place? Uh? Oh, Singapore International School in Yangon. Okay, That's in Myanmar. Okay, I was doing a career guidance workshop, career aspirations. Uh, this is career, uh, very serious topic. Uh. Okay, so the first few models that they built, uh, some groups were very nice. Okay, like this boy I had, a very nice student. Okay, she's a sec two, sec two student, sec two boy. Uh, he likes chemistry. So he built something like a chemist, like a chemist lab. Uh. Suddenly his story, he ends up with a career that he loved the most, which is a chemist. He liked to be a chemist. Yes, the story gel. Now it comes cases when we have stories that don't, Disconnect completely. Ah, something is wrong with the flow somewhere. I Means uh, I just this person not clarity, don't know what they want. Very normal, uh, people don't know what they want. Uh. So we need to trace back the previous models to see whether is there any disconnect. So I did a tracing, yes, she doesn't know what she wants. The clarity of the mind is not there yet. That is a confirmation. So so it's sometimes your metaphor must link to your model, they must be connected completely. So in some yeah. cases, when Lego don't connect, uh, it's normal. That means your mind clarity is not there. Right? It's normal. You have to go for my other one. You go for my other coaching tool, another tool that I use. That one, the clarity is then fast. Okay? Mm -hmm. Lego sometimes don't have. Sometimes I need to deploy the other tool. Okay? Some of the Toastmasters may have encountered that tool during Toastmasters meetings already. Okay? But mm -hmm. that's the difference. You always notice the biggest difference. The biggest difference, the fun thing about Lego is you can use it to point and make a make metaphor. That's the easiest part. Okay, the only problem with in Singapore that I have noticed, right, is they take so long to build that. So long, huh? really very long. Now, give me these six pieces, uh, it will take about two, three minutes. Really. Okay, give me 50 pieces, it will take about five minutes. Actually, by right, it's supposed to be three minutes. Huh? It's supposed to challenge the brain to think fast and move the bricks. Okay, yeah. Because that's your most genuine response, right? When you yes, think correct. and act on the spot itself. Mm, correct. And that's your thoughts. And it does work. I have coaching, I have peer coaching with a fellow facilitator at one stage. Also very nice. I built it. I oh, there's existing instance I was going through, it helped me a lot. Hmm. So I Gerald, thought, be, yes, right. before you find your life partner, do you ask her to build a duck first so that you can assess her? 
no, she played she played another two actually. <laughs> <laughs> she played another two actually. So uh that was a different tool that I use. Uh. It's available yeah, okay. tool, but I didn't have time to use to put it that that one is too complicated to use. Uh Myro is another tool or Moro. Uh. Okay, uh let's see EP's one. Uh. Uh, Joseph also, Joseph, Joseph one on top. Yeah. Oh, Joseph one on top, uh. wait, uh. Yeah, see if I got time, I can entertain a few. Uh, we still got some time now, so we can. Uh, oh. Joseph, Ify, Michael. Uh, okay, only left with uh, Joseph. Okay, wait. Uh. Uh, Ify, yeah, Ify is soft spoken. Uh, uh, do you know who are soft spoken? Uh, introverts. Uh, they are very chatty in the social media one. Okay, yeah. the social chats. Uh. Yeah, Ify is quite social in the. In the... Uh, enjoy. Yeah, she's at her age, she's relaxing. Uh, swimming in the, swimming in the pond already. Uh, that's why I see. Uh, so introvert in person, but extrovert on social media, la. Yeah. Uh, just it, like me, uh, just like me. Fight, fight on social media, but real person very quiet. Uh, <laughs> correct, correct, correct. You you get some people like that. There are some <laughs> some some people that is in Toastmasters that tend to be. Yeah. Like that, yeah but she's a her, she's very happy with her, with herself. Always like, wear wear a cap or something la, like this hat. Okay, I don't see any influence of uh engineering or accounting inside of her i don't see that much yes okay. is, is it true if he what, what was your profession your last profession yeah i just want to i just curious what's the last profession yeah if he was your last profession okay let me looking for joseph one in the wall uh his one is on top of if he's on top of is he oh okay uh if he seems quiet <laughs> okay oh, joseph. i was a uh, mother la. So uh, before before full time mother, was the income service government service ah uh, why is your cell ah government service that's why her duck very very standard ah uh, <laughs> service I done before also uh. I did uh, I did for Malaysian agency I also got frightened out also uh, by the ratio of the the, the models ah uh. okay there's a certain ratio to certain models ah uh, in certain organization. That you will, I would notice lah. Okay, uh, which one is private? Which one is stat board? Which one is government agency? Which one is normal coaching? Ah, uh, probably can tell one. Okay, cannot escape. Okay, your general construction model style will give your will give all your personality already. Okay, mm. without a doubt. Okay, because there's this theory at the back end uh, that say whatever you build uh, comes out in your hands, and the hands will construct the model. Okay. Actually, I forget the name of the actual theory, but this this is a general theory. Okay. Ooh. Ah, my old friend is here. Just in time. Okay, okay. Joseph, Joseph. He's curious on what he he's is. A, this yes, one like uh, Swan Ming, yeah, that Swan Ming. Joseph. Yeah, la, he's out, outspoken one. La. Intro, astro, la, but outspoken. La. Outspoken one. La. Uh, I like to walk. He like to do a lot of walking. La. I think in his presentation... I like to do a lot of walking. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, I'm a shy person. Huh? I'm a shy person. Yeah. I'm introvert. Yeah. yeah, but he do a lot of walking because he have to walk with the minister. Ah, <laughs> correct. correct, correct. <laughs> he says introvert. Yes, I can agree. Yes. Uh because your your yours is in the in-between type of length of the on the of the weight plate. La. The three by the three by two weight plate. La. Okay, the three by two weight plate. You're you not using a four by two weight plate. Okay, but they only give you three. No, there are only two three by two, sorry, online. Okay. So it depends on how you line up your three by twos. Okay. In this case, online in Lego Foundation. So from that to you are uh, generally intro astro, you can switch. Uh, when so when it's a business world, he will be extrovert like crazy. He'll be the seller, la, great creative. Uh, but I don't see the creativity in him. La, okay, not so much. La. When you do more models, we we can we can see it. La, okay. Definitely can can see more about this person's character like, and more about how he relates to things. Up. Okay, of course, please upload into the Google Drive. Okay, and of course, your, your tail is balanced. That means you're okay, you're enjoying life, you're happy yourself really. Correct? He's pretty much happy with himself. Ah, that's most important. If, you're, if you have a tail, like a staircase behind, it means something also. Uh. Okay, I encountered in one of my group, uh, which I happen to be in Louis Chin, uh, one of his business groups. Uh, Find out more, you can go and find him, approach him how to join the group. Uh, you can use that. That there was one participant that had my Lego then also. Okay. When he built his tail like a staircase or so, uh, chances he was and that, you know what happened? 
the each chair was having an issue. They were having back pain, literally. So it's true. Huh? So your, whatever your model come out means it's reflecting something to me. It's telling me something that you, you are facing. Your emotions will come true with the Lego. Definitely something interesting. I always like to come out. Huh? That's, a high, that's a fun part. So of course, when you see me face to face, I'm very sure you'll see me come up with Lego models, okay? Okay, so the, of course, the learning takeaways now. I think anybody models have not been clear in the chat? Let's see. Uh, yes. Oh, Michael. Adel Adeline asks, is Joseph a violent person? I don't think so. Wow. Yeah, he's not totally, he can only create, he only destroys. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, very true. Tail is on my head. Yes. Coffee on me. Uh. Okay, la. you you buy back you buy back lunch, huh? <laughs> yeah, he's going for my favorite lunch spot, huh? Uh, okay. <laughs> anyway, uh, we got a, we got usual uh, regulars who are attending that. Okay. So first, this is the different models. Everybody has different models. Eh? You can see in the chat box already, we see so many different different oh Michael. Oh, what about yours? Okay, wait, I mean let me address Michael one, uh. Wait, uh Michael very curious, uh. Actually, Michael, I think you if you are you can be very straight to the point if you really need to be. I think he WhatsApp you. Yeah, I, I, I yeah. No, he he posed a question later at uh later part of it. Yes. Okay. So much creative, yes. Oh, should ask how my troublesome boss do. Yeah, your troublesome boss never post a Lego model, uh. She very introvert, uh. that's why I give you a safe space to post. That's the reason, okay? I have to make the space very safe, okay? As a facilitator, okay? So here's what you, now I want you to type in the chat box, ah. Huh? What do you learn from this workshop? Type in the chat box. Yeah, this is the best time. Uh, uh, you want to share a Lego dark story, never mind. You want to share your Lego dark story with personally on WhatsApp, do it with me also, okay? No problem. Okay, up to you. Those who have my number, ah, uh, please. Okay? Uh, quack, quack. Uh. Okay? Hey. Ah, yes. Okay, good, Thomas. Yes, thank you. Uh, some more, some more. I think, okay. Different people, different ducks. Yes, correct. That's why Sanjita, there's never the same duck in the same room. If there is, likely is the models are in two different groups. Never in the same group. Okay, it's the same as my picture cards also. Picture cards that I'm also trained in. Very similar, okay? Happens. And there's never the same duck in the same room. Confirm. You ask them to build a simple tower with a pink flag, with a pink flower on top. Huh? Still the same. Very different. Okay, but I can tell who is an engineer, who is a who is an artist. Very obvious. Huh? Okay, very obvious. Okay, those who want to share your Lego Dark story, feel free to voice message your story to me. Those who are comfortable, you want to share in your chat, feel free. The space has been saved already. Okay, now how now the last question is how do I relate those masters at work? First, impromptu speaking. I never follow my flow of my deck. Okay, the deck is guiding me. It acts as my guide. So sometimes, how come I became so good in Pomtu speaking? This is the reason. Okay, I will follow the flow of you guys, of your my participants when I do training, professional level. I will make sure I follow your flow. That means whatever you respond to me, I will just follow. Okay, I just go with the flow. My slack decks are just helping me. That's why you see, Point number three, organize your speech in that comes to researching and presenting in the pathways, okay? Organize your speech as a competent communicator manual series, okay? So that's how you do it, okay? And the second point, facilitation skills. Yeah, it's the world of facilitation skill. To be certified as a certified professional facilitator, you can join the International Association of Facilitators. Uh, you can ask our Toastmasters member, Ariel Z2 or Z3 director, one even one of the Z directors, uh, his name is Inghao. He's an IAF member. Go and approach him. How to join the association in facilitation. Okay. In he's in the member of Division Z Council now as a as a area, area director this time. One of my old friends of mine, okay? For how many years? Many years. Uh. Yeah, I don't know how many years I know him here. Okay, I'm in two classes for too long already. Okay, but we have common thing for commonality on certain subjects. Okay, so in reference, uh the pathway reference panel is moderate panel discussion. So you can tell what type of roles I'm going to do this term. Okay, I'm probably doing moderator role. I may be doing training role. I would keep reading something to my work sphere because Toastmasters will enhance your skills, safer zone, before you go out. 
But of course, when you moderate a panel discussion outside, make the space also very safe. Important that you do that. Okay, safe spaces in facilitation is the number one area that you must be look out. Okay, sometimes in area of conflict, safe space. You don't give people safe space to voice out their concerns, you are going to have a lot of issues later. Guarantee. I've seen so many cases already. Yeah? Okay, sometimes you don't even know. Okay, beyond my research on Lego bricks, I use other tools. I can tell what is the problem causing you. Okay, so sometimes you don't reveal your Lego, you definitely will reveal to me elsewhere when I open up with you using other tools. Okay, of course, what's your next step you need to do? Okay, you spread the word, you hashtag me. Okay, hashtag Lego Seals Play, hashtag Jero Lego Ong. That's my initial, that's my social media branding. You can find me. Okay, in all the channels, uh, Instagram, Facebook, LinkedIn. This is my constant brand. Uh, what's your then you also need to think what's the main objective of using Legos? Uh? Sometimes main objective in using Lego is to find my business strategy around it. Yes, go ahead, let's do it. Let's go and use it to help. Okay, to make sure that you learn something. And of course, lastly, last but not least, ah, uh, build relationship in a fun manner. Uh, to address that question, actually. Actually, there is a very old Toastmasters fan of mine. He used to be from Dover Toastmasters. I brought him out for dinner uh, and asked him his wife to play the Lego ducks. Okay. I found out how they met each other. Very interesting. Okay. Same. I've done dating workshops. So some of you might have seen uh, Complete Me, LLP. I think one of my past clientele is yes. dating workshops. Huh? Okay. I've done it. Okay. In fact, I also involved another project in September. Okay. As a facilitator, we are trying to foster about relationships. Okay, so you can have fun manual. Sometimes you can see a lot of people. And how much budget do you have for your workshop? Okay, don't forget. Either you have the bricks or you don't have the bricks. That means you take home the bricks or don't want the bricks. Okay. Uh. <laughs> people say dating now. No. Lah. Okay. This one, I use it to facilitate dating workshops. Okay. I will can read your brain through the models, through the pictures. Many ways. Lah. Just like the pancakes that you see. Okay, by the way, our hotcakes is my favorite. Okay, so you those who are keen to discover yourself more, Feel free to take this QR code. Of course, I'll drop this link uh, if you are keen okay, to discover more. Okay, when you discover more, you actually learn. Learn more about yourself. Okay. Uh, yeah, discover more. I can go deeper with you. Okay. On how I use the Lego as a coaching. Some of you might need mentoring. I'm happy available for mentoring. I can do support. Uh, some of those masters who are available for mentoring. I also a career coach. Uh, thanks to my fellow career coach, Shirley Tam, for coming online. Uh, Shirley is one of them. I think she left already. I'm not sure if she's still around. I think she should be still around. Okay. Uh, okay. I, I think she left already. She, ah, yes, she's still around. Yes, thank you. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. You look, my cannot friend. talk behind her back. Cannot talk behind her back. I know. I know she's here. I know she haven't left yet. Uh, uh, testing you, uh, right? Uh, testing you, right? <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. okay. Yeah, she's a fellow career coach of mine. Uh, so thanks for hosting me at your, at your career center. Okay. Yeah, thanks for that. Uh, so, so I think we still have room for Q&A. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. anyone, any questions? Yes, yeah. of course. Of course, it's about having play that you know each other better. Lah. Okay, this is the quote from uh, Jake from the head of Wikipedia library. So now it's time for question and answer. Do you have any question and answer? Feel free to shoot. Yeah, yes. anyone, we still got some time left. So maybe one or two questions. Okay, let me answer my WhatsApp. I see there's a lot. Okay. How is this different from play therapy? How is this different from play therapy? Uh? Play therapy, you need to go for clinical supervision. That is the requirement. It's also part of play. Uh. There, there are many parts. Uh. Okay, there is also uh, Lego therapy. It's now renamed as play included in the UK. Uh, that is used for helping kids to use Lego as a modality to say their illness, you know, their psychologies. Has been deployed in quite a fair bit. Even positive psychology is also using Lego actually. Mm. So that is some of the areas that I've seen. Yes, thanks for messaging your pictures to me. I see quite a lot, quite a fair bit. Yes. Uh, uh, right. Anyone else? Any other questions? Okay. Does Lego sponsor Lego sets for workshop? Or how does it work? Uh. Oh, Adelina. Ah. Does yeah. Lego sponsor to get workshop uh, no normally don't oh and when you are being certified do they give you a lego set as like your graduation uh, gift graduation gift yes when i was certified i was given 12 sets of ducks lego wow okay yes 
that was given that I was given that that, that oh. what I was given. Uh, subsequently, with uh, one month later, I was able to bring in all the parts to make the Lego duck. All right. So, so I... uh, currently my stock volume now is about two hundred pieces now, two hundred sets of the ducks. Yeah. That's quite a huge amount. Uh, if you ask me, uh, in terms of using, hmm. in terms of using ducks, because it's the most easiest to introduce for Lego series play. That's yeah, always so... a preset. When you go to a deeper workshop, then you ask you build each other models or each other. So that's it. Uh, yeah. Okay, so uh, we have a few more questions. So uh, we need to streamline a bit. Okay. Uh, can we so Carol and Shirley got the same question, which is how long to get certified or how long is the, yeah, the process? To get oh, certified. okay. Play training where you saw that video uh, is four full days. Okay. Uh, the master trainer here in Singapore is Chris Tay, uh, a former Toastmasters from Tobio Central. Uh, she's the master trainer, uh, not the master trainer, sorry, called trainer of facilitators. Master trainers are still Pierre Christensen and Robert Ramerson. Trainer yeah. of facilitators, right? Uh, like Chris Day, Masako, quite a few. There are two in Japan. I think there's one more facilitator in Japan that is also a master trainer. Uh, so just recently, they just finished the course, apparently. So you have to go wait for the next round when Chris is doing it. I think she will start when there's enough plus sign ups, at least about four to five. Right? Usually it's at Changi Cove. Okay, uh, it's about four full days and one evening of uh, workshop design. And the workshop design takes about two hours. It's quite fast. If you've got something in mind that you want to design, you can go and use it. Uh, so you can borrow the ducks. Yes, you can also borrow the ducks. Yes, but I advise that you go through the facilitation. You know how to use it. Okay. Uh, how is it costly for the course? Uh, Joseph at PME. Yes, it's very expensive. I paid about 3.5k USD for the course. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, Joseph got a very good question. So, like Lego, right? It helps people. It helps to read people through like uh this play method. So, how about like other play methods? Maybe coloring, play doh, or this. Is play, the that same? is art therapy already. Ah. Therapy. You can go to this organization called Art for Good. Uh, Amanda Chen, <coughs> she's the founder of it. She used art therapy for therapy. Uh, for some of the kids, uh. she used art therapy as as a medium. Hmm. Amanda Chen, uh, that's one of my friend. Up for good. It's a it's a social enterprise. One of my old friends that I used to work with. Right. Not, okay. He yeah. Hel Helen, if I pronounce your name correctly, I think you also got a very good question. Does the same does the same person build the same duck over time depending on his mood? Yeah, actually, this is a very good question. Eh? Like, let's say now I build the duck look like that, uh, I may build a different duck down the road, but is it that it will be closely similar or what what, what do you feel about it? So far from to answer Helen's question, uh, 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 my duck keep changing actually. Yeah, there are two of my ducks actually. If you have noticed, it's two different ducks. Mm. Yeah, yeah, it does change from time to time. Uh, depend on your opinion, depend on your thoughts, uh, depend on what's the issue on your brain, then you you build the model. Mm. It varies from, from time to time. Uh. Yes. So then you will jump a, to a different conclusion, you will have a different analysis or how? You will, you will need a different opinion of that problem that you come out and solve yourself. And you coach yourself la, in a way. La. So I sometimes use Lego to do uh, self-coaching. Okay. Sometimes I really need to use that. But usually I use my picture cards. My picture cards give me more faster feedback than, than Lego. Because mm -hmm. uh, certain times, uh, certain tools, the feedback loop is, is longer. Certain times, the feedback loop is shorter. So Singaporeans being, they want things very fast, right? So I had to switch to a picture card. And I'm designing my own picture card as I speak now. Mm. The, the results are faster. La. So far, I tested with the doing my social work volunteer. Mm. Okay, right. how do you share your opinions are objective? Yes. Uh, yeah. sometimes Great question. Because I feel that my duck very handsome. So I feel that it's quite representative of me. But I think I'm not that objective. So yeah. How... Opinions are objective. Uh, that's the critical part is the metaphor one. If the metaphor is not linked to the model, I cannot be objective. Your metaphor. I only can read as a third party. Uh. Remember, Joh those who know Johari's window, uh, that's the external view. I'm providing my external view. I'm describing you. Okay, I thought it has saw someone possible, saw someone. Unless I build a, a duck about Thomas, I describe about Thomas, you're sure you know it's him. Really. Ah, so it's depending on which duck you are even to like. It's correct. Uh, okay, and Watana has just sent me some questions. Let's see. Oh, she sent me a duck picture. Yes, so many people are messaging me. Okay, one final question, then we can wrap up already. Yes. Yeah, perhaps one final question. Yes, one final question. Any more? Wait, let me go to Zoom. Uh, maybe for Sanjita. Sanjita mentioned about how do you use for prison rehabilitation in your workshop? Oh, prison, prison inmates. Okay, this one is a bit of sensitivity. Uh, prison rehabs is a little... 
little bit challenging because uh, if you were those who are inside the prisons, you, I'm very sure you know there's prison rules in that protected area cannot bring in. Okay, so you have to find alternatives. Okay, no way. Unless they are in, unless they are in, uh, what is this? What's this program? Shit. What is it? I used to teach, I used to teach inmates. Uh, unless they're all in the community already. Okay, as long as they are out in the community, you can deploy. Okay, in certain areas, uh, as long as protected area, secure area cannot bring in, uh, okay, so be very mindful of the area or jurisdiction you are going in. Okay, I speak from experience as a trainer inside to the inmates. Be very mindful of the protected act, protected areas act, because you cannot bring in certain tools and certain things into the areas. So, Lego only can be used once they are released for community based programs. Okay. Uh, that is the that is the release either they are released in the to a community center or they are to a home where like a halfway house or they are released to the residential where they do their remission period. That one's still okay in the community support area. As, as long as it's in the prison area, the jurisdiction cannot not allow in the protected areas. Cannot bring in anything. You cannot even bring your handphone in. Uh. Speaking from past experience, you used to train there. Okay, so be very mindful. Uh. So Lego toys, I cannot bring in. I had to improvise with another tool. Okay, but nowadays I, I, not I not taught in the prison for so long already. Okay, so you want to do prison rehab? Yes, community-based support programs. Okay, usually it's private site. Uh. Private halfway house should be quite helpful. If you want to do it to inmates for those who are involved in the, the TBV, those master's prison volunteer I, in the speaking one, that one's still okay. But that one because the material is approved already, okay, at their end. So a lot takes a lot of things to coordinate. So recommended for prison rehab is when they are released for remission for community based relief. Okay, that is the best point you can use it. Okay, that's the that's what I can recommend uh, in terms of best advice that for you to use to deploy your Lego and all that. Okay, I see that more people are done. Yeah, okay. all right. Yeah. So thank yes, you. Thank you. Yes. So any of you have more questions, uh, feel free to reach out to Gerald. I'm pretty sure he's quite accessible. You just need to Google Gerald on Lego. I think we only have one in Singapore or maybe one in the entire whole world. Uh, oh. <laughs> uh, there are quite a few facilitators here actually in Singapore. Yeah, but Gerald Ong, not everyone call Gerald Ong. Uh, not everyone look like this Gerald Ong. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Once again, a very big thank you for all of you for being here tonight. And like what I mentioned earlier, this is part of our Trainers Academy program. So we do really uh, value feedback. So I put the link into the group chat right now. If any of you have any feedback, please feel free to put in uh, your where you felt the workshop has went well, where you felt the workshop maybe can uh, enhance on. And you can put it as anonymous also. So you can uh, put <laughs> some other comments which maybe you don't want to share with your person. Yeah, perfectly fine because we are really very open to feedback. Okay? And like what I mentioned earlier, this is all part of Trainers Academy program. Whether you are new, aspiring, or seasoned, as long as you are Toastmasters and you are interested in refining or developing your training skills and have opportunities to conduct training, feel free to reach out to us. We will ensure that you will receive that opportunity to learn and finally also develop and deliver the training that you want to deliver. Okay? So other than that, I would like to take this point in time to congratulate Gerald for successfully completing the Trainers Academy program practical. So uh, Sabrina, maybe you can take, uh, pin him and you know take some photo. Although I know you have a lot of photo of him already, but uh, yeah. No worry, actually I'm doing it. <laughs> yeah, give a cue, Sabrina. We cannot hear you. Okay. Okay, I'm taking the photo now. Okay. Three, two, one. Smile. Well. Just seem right. I'm not inside, right? Yeah, you're not. Okay, good. Yeah, yeah. No, no, of course I never smile. Okay. So yes, thank you everyone for once again supporting Division D events. We have workshop almost on a weekly basis. Uh, do drop by if you are free. Do drop by if you want to learn anything or share anything. And thank you so much for always supporting Division D event. And we hope to see you around, everyone. All right, thank you everyone. Is there one tomorrow night, Thomas? Uh, no, there's no, there's not tomorrow night. Okay. Yeah. Thanks everyone Thank for coming. You. See all of you. Thanks, Joseph. Thank Thanks, you. Thanks, Thanks, Gerald. Thanks, Tom Thomas. <laughs>